AITA for kicking my ex out of my house right before Christmas and suing her? My ex and I divorced about 15 years ago and we have shared custody of our daughter. In the divorce, she wanted our house but I fought hard against it because it's been my family home for three generations before I inherited it. In the end we came to a compromise that was signed off by the judge. Basically she gets to live in the house rent-free until our daughter turns 18 then I get it back. I had to pay the utilities, maintenance, and property taxes the entire time. In addition, she can't make any modification or upgrades to the house without my written permission. She's solely responsible for the cost. And the work has to be performed by an insured and legally licensed professional. I've been sending her move-out notices for months in anticipation of my daughter's 18th birthday and recently that came to pass. The day after I showed up to the house with a contractor because I wanted some work done before I moved back in. At first she refused to let me in until I reminded her that I'm the legal owner of the house. According to our divorced agreement signed by the judge, she's no longer allowed to be there and I'll call the police if she doesn't let me in. She got the point and opened the door. I was surprised nothing was packed and it didn't seem like she's moving at all. We were arguing as I walked through and inspected my house. She wanted extra time and I told her to be out by the end of the week or I'll have her stuff thrown out. When I walked into the living room, I was shocked into silence. The living room was expanded by a wall being torn down and having the bedroom that was once there merged into it. She turned my 4BR house into a 3BR one. I know I didn't sign off on this and from the looks of it, the work was probably done by her BF and not a professional. I yelled at her and told her I'm going to sue her for everything she has then I left. She went crying to our daughter and my family now everyone is telling me to give her another month to find a place and not to sue her. My daughter is firmly on her mother's side and thinks I'm the awe for kicking her mother out a couple of weeks before Christmas and suing her. This is why I'm here. I think I'm right and legally I am right but my daughter's opinion of me matters to me. Am I ta? Edit to answer common questions. 1. My daughter is a freshman in college and I rent her an apartment near campus where she lives by herself. She has a room in my house and I assume will have a room wherever her mother lives. 2. My ex fought for the house and had a chance of winning even though we had shared custody because I make much more than her. I offered her the compromise and she took it because her attorney told her it was a good deal and there's an equal chance I could win which would leave her without a house. 3. My relationship with my daughter is good. She didn't tell me about the renovation because early on I told her I don't want to talk or hear anything about her mother unless it's something that's affecting her daughter. Negatively, my ex was dead to me and I wanted to spend time with my daughter building new memories. Edit to answer more questions. 1. My daughter is a wonderful girl and I couldn't ask for a better daughter. She has a big heart and cares about her mother. I've made it a point to never talk about her mother since the divorce so I'm sure she doesn't fully understand our situation. I plan to talk to her. 2. I inherited the house during our marriage and since we were still in the honeymoon phase. I placed her name on the deed. After that. I remortgaged the house twice. Once to get a better rate and once for money we needed. All of this led to my attorney advising I compromise. He said there's a real risk of losing the house so I compromised. 3. Thank you for reading my post all update as the situation progresses if anyone is interested. NTA the rules for this arrangement could not be more clear. She has had 15 years to find alternative accommodation. You even sent her reminders. And she violated the agreement by having unauthorized work done? Yeah hell no. Kick her out. NTA. 
I don't know where you live and the worth of your house but where I live. There's a huge price difference between a three-bedroom house and a four-bedroom one. Your ex's action caused you to lose tens if not a hundred thousand dollars. NTA and sue her. NTA. Christmas is a day. Dot she intentionally messed up the value of your house without your consent. Against the judge's orders. Sue her. NTA. She has known for 15 years that when your daughter turned 18 she was to move. Her lack of planning is on her. It's absolutely ridiculous that she didn't have a plan to be out by the daughter's birthday. NTA. I'm shocked your daughter never mentioned the renovation. NTA. She knew what was in the legal decree. She did it anyway. She's got no reason to cry to anyone. So she lived rent and utilities free for 15 years and is somehow upset that she's getting the boot? When she went to court and signed a legal contract stating she'd GTFO after over a decade of mooching? Dot and her BF lived there rent free as well? You're a saint. Op. You sponsored her and her partner. That lady can peace out. NTA but your first step is to sit down and talk about this with your daughter. You could lose her if you don't discuss this. Next is to talk with a lawyer and let the legal process work. NTA. She violated two conditions of the divorce agreement. That being said, she went running to your daughter to make you the bad guy. If you kick her out and sue her you're the bad guy and may permanently ruin your relationship with your daughter. If you don't she will turn one month into two, then three and so on. You really don't have a good result here because she's not acting like an adult who respects anything or anyone. NTA. It is your house and you have sent her multiple notices. The work was probably done by her BF and not a professional. Not only did she make such a big change to your house without your consent she also had someone do it who was, I am assuming noticeably, not a professional. NTA. She knew the agreement. She should have been prepared and she knew exactly what she was doing when she violated the court. Order. NTA. She had a super sweet deal and yet she was still able to mess it up. NTA. You're upset and emotional. That makes total sense. Please get legal advice first contact your divorce lawyer and speak to them about how she's still living there and about the work she had done. They should be able to advise you about a real estate attorney to make sure you do the eviction properly. Don't leave yourself open for her to be able to countersue or cause you any issues. Then go to another attorney to see about beginning the process to make her reimburse you for the modifications, any loss of value, and the amount required to put it back how it was. Be smart here. You're going to get your house back. You're going to need a little more patience though. Make sure everything you do is legal, above board, and documented so that you have an airtight case against your ex. You don't want to take a wrong step and allow her a way out. Take the time to think this through and follow the proper course of action. As for your daughter, try to explain to her that she can still live in the house with you if she wants. Also show her the paperwork that says the house is yours and her mother is there illegally. She still may take her mother's side because she's worried her mother will be homeless. Showing her the paperwork and doing things the proper legal way are the play here. Stay calm. Don't ruin your relationship with your daughter and don't give your ex an opportunity to get off the hook for what she owes. NTA since she went against the contract. You have also been sending eviction notices. So the family shouldn't feel it's being done with no notice. As far as your daughter goes. That's a hard one. Maybe try sitting down with her and talking it out to try and get back on good terms with her? Well it sounds as if this was a stupid compromise. 
If she took away value from the house then by all means sue her. You need to tell her immediately THST rent will be charged daily. However I would speak to your divorce attorney or a real estate addy to get some advice as to how to legally proceed in your state. Totally NTA. Actions have consequences and she needs to own up to hers. She knew she had to move out by your girl's 18th b-day so she had plenty of time to make arrangements. And she devalued your house. Hoping she did no structural damage. You are totally right to both kick her out and sue her. NTA. The law was clear. You waited your time and she did something she wasn't legally allowed to. Sucks to be her. I get you value your daughter's opinion of you but it doesn't pay the bills and it certainly doesn't seem to affect how your ex treats you. Good question everyone's been asking. Where will your daughter be living? Still at the house with you now or with mom? You are NTA but if your daughter thinks you are, that matters more than what any of us think. NTA. Your daughter's opinion should matter. But she is not seeing the big picture. Your ex violated what the court ordered. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.